Welcome to Wednesday, December the 30th. I'm Pastor Jim Krieger from Holy Cross Lutheran Church and School in Saginaw, Michigan, celebrating God's Holy Word with you today in our daily devotion. Our continuing celebration of Christmas, recorded in the prophet Micah chapter 5, verses 2 and 4. But you, O Bethlehem Ephrathah, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from of old, from ancient days. And he shall stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall dwell secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. Micah, like most prophets, also lived at a time dominated by Israel's sins of disobedience and idolatry and God's judgment on their sin. The prophet Micah lived the same time as the prophet Isaiah, nearly 800 years before the birth of Jesus. The prophet Micah was alive when the nation of Assyria captured the northern kingdom of Israel and carried those ten tribes into captivity. The prophet Micah knew that this was God's divine judgment on a people who had become unholy, disobedient, untrusting, and unfaithful. According to the words of the prophet Micah, the village of Bethlehem is scarcely worth counting among the clans of Judah. Yet God himself chose to bring his Messiah out of this town. Why? First, the Messiah is of the lineage of David, and David was also from the village of Bethlehem. But there's another reason why God chose such a small location. Bethlehem is considered insignificant. And in this small, quiet, out-of-the-way village, God did something that changed the course of history and eternity. Even today, God continues to choose the lowly so that we aren't able to boast in our own merits. We boast in his strength and power and mercy that is at work in us. God is never impressed by our human desires to impress others by our accomplishments. Everything God does points to his own divine power, will, and purpose for us. The second thing the prophet Micah tells us about the promised Messiah is that the Christ secures for us the promises of God. Christ, meaning anointed of God, is the yes for all of God's promises. Put your trust in God's anointed and you will inherit his divine promises. The message given to and through the prophet Micah is that the coming anointed of God will stand. He won't lie around waiting for people to come to him. He will be on his toes, alert, looking and working for those who will trust in him and follow his voice as their shepherd. Jesus shepherds his flock. He never leaves us to provide for our own needs. He shepherds us. He leads us to green pastures and still waters. And all who put their trust and hope and follow the good shepherd Jesus sent by God in heaven will never want because the shepherd will provide them with all that they need. Jesus will also serve us in the strength of the Lord and in the majesty of the Lord God. Jesus' plans and intentions cannot be hindered because he is omnipotent, meaning all-powerful. And when you put your trust in our omnipotent, anointed Messiah, then his omnipotent strength is always on your side. Follow him like a trusting member of the flock, and he will meet every obstacle you face with his strength and with his power and he will meet those obstacles with you. Jesus shall be great to the ends of the earth. 
Our eternal security will not be threatened by any alien force or nation on earth. When Jesus comes back, the scripture says every knee will bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue will confess Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. His greatness knows no bounds. He is great. His name is great to the ends of the earth. So brothers and sisters in Christ, follow the voice of your good shepherd Jesus. Trust in him. In him, your heavenly Father meets every need of body and soul. Continue to put all of your hope and trust in him. Give yourself completely to your shepherd, who is also Emmanuel, the promised Messiah, in which God is with you. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we give you thanks for fulfilling the promises of a Savior, a Deliverer, a Messiah, a Shepherd, all in your Son, Jesus, who is our Emmanuel, through whom you make your dwelling among us. Raise up in us the strength of faith that never ceases to declare the hope, the peace, and the joy we have in Jesus, and the never-ending blessings that come from your merciful love for all who follow his voice. Bless us even more with the strength we need for this last day of 2020 and for all of the days to come in a new year as we keep watchful for the return of Jesus. And until that day, we listen for his voice, we follow him, we serve him in the strength he provides. So in his powerful, holy, and saving name, we pray together the prayer he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen in our continued celebration of Christmas. On this, the last day, I'm sorry, two days left. With two days, the second to the last day of 2020, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the holy saving name of Jesus, your Messiah, Savior, Good Shepherd, and Friend. Amen. A reminder that tomorrow, Thursday, December 31st at 5 p.m., we invite all to gather at Holy Cross Lutheran Church for a New Year's Eve worship service in which we will celebrate all the blessings God has poured out in this year's past, the strength he has provided for us to meet every challenge and the hope that enters the new year for all who cling to Jesus, their Lord, their Savior, and their Shepherd. Join us tomorrow night, New Year's Eve at 5 o'clock at Holy Cross Lutheran Church here in Saginaw, Michigan. Until then, again, God's peace be with you and a continued Merry Christmas.